Did you know that Canva has a powerful AI image generator and that we can use it to create consistent characters? Let me show you how. So, the most important part of creating consistent characters with Canva is the prompt. Let me show you how to use ChatGPT to craft the perfect prompt to create consistent characters with Canva. Head over to ChatGPT and log into your account or create an account if you don't have one. Once logged in, click on the new chat button. Copy and paste this prompt into the chat box and press enter. You can find the prompt in the description of this video. ChatGPT will generate something like this. As you can see, this gives us a highly descriptive prompt with multiple scenes and a seed number, which is very important when creating consistent AI characters. Next, ask ChatGPT to clean up the prompt by typing this into the chat box. And ChatGPT will give us the prompts for each scene like this, which we can easily copy and paste into Canva. But sometimes these prompts will be too long as Canva only accepts up to 280 characters. So ask ChatGPT to make the prompts 280 characters long with this. If you're working on a project and you know the gender, name, and age of your character, you can specify that in the main prompt and let ChatGPT generate the other details. Once you have the final prompt, you can tell it to change the action and background for each scene to whatever you need it to be. You can also tell it to add new scenes by specifying the action and background. So now that we have our prompts, copy the first one and head over to canva.com. Log into your account or sign up if you don't have one. Once logged in, Click on Create a Design and click on Whiteboard. We use the whiteboard because it lets us add all the images onto it, making it easy to compare the images and decide which ones we want to use on our projects. On the left-hand side, scroll to the bottom and click on Magic Media. This is where we will generate our images. There are different styles that you can choose from, but we won't pick one because we are already specifying a style in our prompt. You can also set the aspect ratio that you prefer. Okay, so let's paste our prompt and click generate. Canva will generate four images for us. Click on the image you want to add it to the whiteboard. Go back to chat GPT, copy the second prompt, go back to Canva. Click Clear, paste the prompt, and click Generate. As you can see, we have a different scene of our character. This is the power of the seed number. It creates a memory that lets the AI remember the previously created images, which allows us to regenerate the same images with the changes in the prompt. So, click on the image that you want. To add it to the whiteboard, drag and drop to rearrange it. Make sure that you add all the images that you want to keep to the whiteboard, because every time you generate a new image, you'll lose the previously generated images. OK, let's try the third prompt. As you can see, we get the same character doing something different. Repeat this process for all the images you want to generate. Now to download the images, this is what you do. Copy the first image from the whiteboard. Open up the Canva homepage in a new tab. Click Create a Design. Click on Custom Size. Type in the dimensions that you want your images to be. And click Create New Design. And paste the image here. Add a new page, go back to the whiteboard. Copy the second image and paste it here. Do this for all the images that you want to download. Once you have all your images, click on Share. Click Download. Make sure that all the pages are selected and click the Download button you'll get a zipped file with all the generated images. 
And that's it. That's how you create consistent AI characters with Canva. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please show your support by hitting the thumbs up button, subscribing to our channel, and turning on the notifications bell so that you can keep up to date with new tutorials. Also, leave your questions and thoughts below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.